Hello, this is an introduction to the EDI online portal. Access to the portal can be granted from customer services, so I'm going to log in with the details they have provided. Once logged into the portal, you can go to the section EDI messages. From within this screen you can view all EDI messages that have been transferred from the EDI system to your system, either nav or via email. You are able to select different partners for all your trading relationships, the different message types that are traded with each partner, the individual document references, you are able to filter by date and the status of each message. On the right hand side of the screen you have the direction of the message if it was inbound or outbound so either an order or an invoice for example. You are able to filter on your EDI partner. In our example here we've got Tesco and Asda and this will display a list of all the EDI messages transmitted for this trading partner. You can also filter on message type so you've got Tradecom's orders your invoicing and generally documents that might not be delivered to NAV like your remittance advices and your debit notes and this will show all the debit notes for ASDA that's been passed through the EDI system you can also select via document reference if you know the reference of the EDI file in question and you can also apply a filter based on a date range. There's a status filter so you can see different statuses of the message as it's flowed through the EDI system, um, processing complete and send failed. And a direction of the message. Invoices would be outbound, inbound would be orders. So I could do a filter to status of send failed just to find if there's been any problems with anything? Yes, yeah. So if I select all partners and select the status of send failed, there's one message that we've not been able to deliver to NAV. Um, this could be for networking issues, uh, VPN issues, but the end result was our EDI system was unable to deliver this message. What you can do from this screen is if the message is urgent and you need to get this order out, for example, you can physically download a copy of the file and you can open it. This is a copy of the message as it was received from the trading partner. You can also download a PDF version of the file which is a report that's run to generate a viewable image of the document and you can open it and this will show you that it's come from Tesco that is going to Cronus for our example, the different delivery locations, the customer order number, the order date, the shipment date and all the item lines on the order with quantities. So what you can do is if the message was urgent and you needed to get it out of the vision, you could put this order on manually and process it through your system as normal. It's important to note if the status is at send failed, the support desk that technology management will already know about the issue and will be looking at getting it resolved automatically for you. Would that perhaps involve a resend of that message? Yes, it would. Um, once the, the issue has been resolved, the support desk are able to resubmit the message and that will then appear in NAV. Um, if you had manually entered the order from the PDF document, you probably would get an error when trying to accept the document because it would already exist on your system. If that is the case, then the message can just be rejected. Underneath, it will show you all the different transaction documents for that message. So within this order that came from Tesco, there was actually one physical order, and that's the customer order number there. If I just remove the filter and filter on an ASDA document, I've selected ASDA as our partner and scroll down to document reference 209. This document I know has got multiple orders in the one file. So if I scroll down, you will see that there's about 10 
individual orders in the EDI message and these are all the customer order numbers for that message. Uh, if I click on the download PDF and open the file you will get a page for each order. So that's order one. And if you scroll to the next page, order two, order three, and so on. So this information could be entered into Navision manually. Nice and neat all being on one download then. Yeah, yeah. There's some occasions where a, a document may not be delivered to NAV. Um, as standard, you would tend to get orders delivered into NAV and we would receive invoices back out to send back to the customer. Um, a lot of occasions, um, for example, ASDA would send remittance advices and debit notes. This information wouldn't be passed in the vision, but you're able to view the information from the EDI online portal. I'm going to remove the filter to select all messages. Select a message type of debit note, which is an SRM INF. And it will show all the debit notes and remittances for ASTA. You're able to download this message. And this is a remittance document, and it will tell you all document numbers that have been paid for this remittance. I'm going to go back to showing all partners and select a direction and select outbound. These are all EDI invoices that have been sent from your Navision system to each trading partner. And again, you have a document reference, which is an invoice number, um, a time of processing and a status of each message. You can also download a copy of this invoice for your records. For example, this was a batched document and there's roughly about 100 invoices in this batch. Um, you can download that and you can see a full invoice printout of each invoice in question. You would have visibility of the invoice in NAV. So, okay. it's, a, it's a backup? Really. Yes, yeah, it's a backup. Customer services can give access to the online portal. They will send an invitation which will arrive via email. Um, opening that email, you can set in your login details and set your passwords. So for, e so for each individual contact, if I'm a contact and yep. I see my details there, it's always personalised for the person that's been given yes. access. Yep. If you're required to change your password, this can be accessed from your profile by clicking the change password. If you've forgotten your password, you can get in touch with the customer services who will resend out an invitation from CRM and you can start the login process again. Alongside the EDI messages, you can also view your help desk calls by clicking on the help desk option. From here, you can create new cases which will be logged on the support desk and view existing cases that are already logged. If you need to get any contact information, you can click on the Contact Us option, which will forward you to the Technology Management contact page. Once you've finished with the service, please remember to log out of the system.